and another big crowd at Fratton Park expects nothing less than victory from the side boasting the best home defensive record in Great Britain. Well, much of Pompey's success, of course, is down to the prolific scoring of the country's leading marksman. Guy Whittingham's tally of 40 now for the season leaves him well on course to break the club's all-time goal-scoring record. Well, Whittingham dons the number 10 shirt as usual. His partnership with Paul Walsh really flourishing up front now with excellent support from Alan McLaughlin and Mark Chamberlain. Danish international Bjorn Christensen, recruited recently from Newcastle. He's back after suspension. So is Warren Aspinall, but has to settle for a place on the subs bench. Well, fortunately for Peterborough, their first division future was more or less secured before a recent dip in form. They've not won in six games now, and tonight they're without one of their main strikers, Tony Philliskirk, who was injured on Saturday. Warrell Sterling partners leading scorer Tony Adcock up front, with Marcus Ebden drafted into midfield. Poppy's outstanding home record deserves the utmost respect, and Peterborough's hopes of containing them may well rest on this man's display. Goalkeeper Ian Bennett has been in superb form since displacing Fred Barber at the back end of last season. Tonight's referee is David Ellery from Harrow on the Hill. A tense night for Pompey then as Peterborough in the all green strip kick off, attacking the goal to our left at the carrot of an automatic promotion play staggled tantalizingly in front of Portsmouth. They'll go level on points with West Ham in second spot if they could win tonight, putting the pressure back on the other contenders. But certainly, Peterborough, no slouches away from home. They've had eight successes on their travels so far this season. Yes, Christensen. Had been a doubt tonight, Christensen, because of a chest infection. As indeed had been Chris Price, but both have come safely through. So Jim Smith has had almost a full squad to choose from, with Warren Neal available again, two after injury. Here's Kit Simons, who himself is back in the side after an injury, which kept him out until Millwall on Saturday when he played extremely well. Christensen finding Chamberlain. Another man who's hit a sparking run of form of late Chamberlain. And there's the first free kick of the game. Bit of a late tackle. Which Steve Welsh will get a ticking off with the referee. Christensen will take the free kick. Simons has come up from the back. So has Guy Butters. And there was some pushing there. Free kick to Peterborough. Butters, surely that Chamberlain was offside. A little bit later, the linesman raised his flag down below me. The play goes on. McLaughlin with the ball out of play. Cooper. Welsh. Barnes wants to take on Price. Now Christensen was tripped there. Christensen in the anchor role for Portsmouth, just in front of those three central defenders. Very useful signing from Newcastle. again. They've got three in the middle. The balls can get his cross in. The tackle coming in though. McLaughlin pulling the cross back and whizzing over. Goal number 41. 12 minutes gone and Portsmouth in front and that will settle their nerves down. A typically predatory finish from Whittingham. Good turn here by McLaughlin. There was a, a Peterborough player down injured there, but Whittingham wasn't asking any questions. A spec kick finish. And Portsmouth go ahead. Bradshaw is the player down injured there. The referee right by him. 
pulled back well by McLaughlin. And there's the coach's instinct of Guy Whittingham. Just arriving on the scene. There's Butters. Now, Daniel. McLaughlin. And it's the corner as we approach the halfway point in the first half. And certainly Portsmouth now beginning to dominate. And they have the fill-up of the early goal from Guy Whittingham. Once more, they have the aerial threat of Butters. And Simons, who's on the near post. Whittingham at the far post. Didn't go that far. Chamberlain. Daniel. Whittingham. That's his second. So often, he's in the right place at the right time. And, well, you just can't keep the man down. Daniel had so much space here. Nobody closed him down at all. Walsh had the first header, and Whittingham tidied it up. 21 minutes gone, and it's 2-0. Bennett rock-footed there by the header from Walsh. And Whittingham with goal number 42. What a season he is having. Chamberlain to Orphan. Get Peter Bovick pressed back here. Now Walsh. And Howard just got his header in in time. And I think he caught Paul Walsh then. Walsh applauding the service. But not the tackle that grounded him. Walsh. Oh, Price is in now. has drilled it through and no bit of a defender could clear it 27 minutes gone corner taken quickly and Walsh capitalising on some sloppy defensive play lovely interchange of passes there Price across the face of the goal and knocked back it by Butters Portsmouth fans in great voice now. McLaughlin forcefully threading his way on. Off goes Whittingham. Still got his shot in. Chaos at the back. And somehow Peter has survived. Well, he's such a threatening figure, Guy Whittingham. Chamberlain out jumped though by. Steve Welsh. Oh, Alan Knight was taking a risk there. Oh. Well, well, he delayed so long then, uh, Alan Knight. And uh, what a bizarre goal that would have been from Tony Hancock if that had gone in. Did nothing wrong there, Hancock. And harmlessly across the face of the goal. Welsh. In goes Simons. And off goes McLaughlin. Whittingham ahead of him. And they left it to each other for a moment. Walsh now. The support from Daniel. Now that for Walsh. Trying to wriggle past those beautiful defenders. And that's lovely skill. Really appreciated by the crowd. Christensen now. Maybe a shooting chance. Chamberlain. Good efforts. Oh, fine save though by Ian Bennett. Really catapulted across his area to keep out that stinging drive from Chamberlain. Christensen may have thought about the shot initially. Chamberlain certainly didn't try to curl it in. With pace too. Simons had the strength bet to hold off Warrell Sterling. 
Simons. Whittingham has pulled up wide here. Now Walsh. A little unlucky. Cooper was in there so quickly. A real tiger in midfield. Barnes now. Checked by McLaughlin. And the referee says no foul. Walsh to Whittingham. It's good play by McLash. Ebden. Putting out the spot at McLaughlin out here wide. Off goes Price now. And he's using his elbows there. Of course, Chris Price, an experienced player. Deep it to injury time. Adcock, slip it on towards Sterling, there's a chance here, now was he bundled over? The referee had a very long hard look, turned away, and his decision was no penalty. Well, let's look at it again here, as Sterling were chasing through with Orford, now, well, he surely then held him back. Well, the referee looked to me as if he was going to blow the whistle, looked across at the linesman who didn't flag, and said, play on. And there was great disappointment, I can tell you, down on the uh, Peterborough bench below us. Lil Pashillo, the manager, just could not believe the referee had not given the penalty. That caught. Barnes. That's a corner. the season the third goal coming from Guy Butters and at half time Portsmouth are totally in command leading Peterborough by three goals to nil so Portsmouth then get the second half underway and I'm sure the message from Jim Smith at half time will have been simple enough just keep it going very much on top of the halfway stage Walsh, straight on to the attack here, Poppy. Way by Welsh. This is Simons on the chase. Rather clumsy clearance by Alan Knight. Ebden now with Sterling. Peterborough feeling very aggrieved that they didn't earn a penalty towards half time. Might just to throw them a lifeline. Knight like was struggling on the cross, maybe. No, well, harmlessly over the bar at the end from Bobby Barnes. Adcock. Butters with the foot in. Christensen to Chamberlain. Chamberlain again, finding McLaughlin. We've taken up a good position here. Off goes Winningham. So quickly off the mark. In towards Wall. Couldn't quite finish it off. He timed his run well enough, but couldn't hit the target. Driven in low then by Whittingham. And wide by Walsh. Here's Chamberlain. Now Christensen. The positive run by the day. Still Christensen. Back towards Walsh. And Bennett just about held off. Chamberlain's initial pass. Christensen. Showed a lot of strength there as he powered forward. And all the time he's aware of Walsh coming in, and so too was Bennett. Simons. Got Chamberlain outside him now. Now what service can he get to Whittingham? And 
of a stunning save by Ian Bennett. Astonishing reflexes. He looked a goal all the way as Whittingham arrived. And Bennett is keeping the score down. And he has deprived Whittingham of his hat-trick with that awesome stop. Here's Outcock. Now Barnes. Oh, Chapman has won it back. We'll find Whittingham here. Chamberlain. Daniel. And towards Whittingham. That's the hat trick now. Swift pit by Whittingham. On the hour mark. And it's 4 0 and it's 3 for Whittingham. And he just has his extra sets. He just knows when the chance is going to come his way. Involved in the build up too. Daniel here, it's a glorious pass in. And just look at the awareness there of Winningham to slide it beyond Bennett. The tally goes to 43. They've got the second of more goals now at Portsmouth. McLaughlin trying to get in on the act. Price! It's that man Bennett again. Uh, no wonder he's been getting so many rave reviews. Ian Bennett. Knocked out here, and well, no one really picked up Chris Price. And Bennett to the rescue. Walsh now, trying to dance past the tackles. Got away from Bradshaw, shoot family. Winning up now. Walsh again. Aspinall's in the middle, and winning him as well now. Still Walsh. Chance. Well, he set himself up for the shot. Close control, mesmerising defenders. Greenman simply outmanoeuvred by Paul Walsh. One by Butters, though. Here's Aspen a lot the break. George Rock sprinting up in support. They've got Walsh away on the left. Now is Walsh going to reach this one? Or Greenman? Here's Walsh. Walsh was held back by Greenman. And it's a penalty. Well, there's a protest from Steve Welsh, the captain of Peterborough. Out of your picture now. And I think he's going to be cautioned for carrying his argument too far. Five minutes to go, and Guy Whittingham has the chance to score his fourth goal of the night. Got four against Bristol Rovers earlier in the season. Oh, he saved it! More heroics from Ian Bennett. And he is denied winning of his fourth goal. The referee is producing the notebook again. Greenman is the player getting cautioned this time. Now here again is that fabulous save. He gets the right way. And well he's some goalkeeper this youngster. Stays at four. Aspinall. And there's Bennett again. Well, without him, it could have been seven or eight, no question. He looks really cool and composed about it all. Aspinall with the corner. Here's Butters. Oh. Okay, I think they close to a second goal for Guy Butters.
Here's Daniel. Walsh. Turn so sharply away from Greenman. And the defender managed to get back in time. But he's really walked to his chance tonight, Paul Walsh. And he's been a constant thorn in Peterborough's side. Daniel with the throw. Aspinall. To have handled there. I don't think the referee had too good a view of it, though. Christensen. Very solid game from Benny Christensen. Well, Greenman wanted Bennett to cut for it, and uh, almost reluctantly, he did so in the end. We're into time ended on for stoppages. Cooper striding purposefully forward. The offer. Could be a chance here. Ebden. It's a good effort. Now that was very close then from Marcus Ebden. As Knight scattered across. Had now three minutes of injury time. Walsh. Really thirsting for a goal to crown his excellent contribution. Now, Christians up the hurl a lot one in. Get up, in towards Lawrence. Doesn't fall over winning up, but it does for Aspinall. And clutched by Bennett. for Portsmouth. Once again, Guy Winningham is the hero with three goals. As Poppy dominated the match almost right from the start. 43 goals now for the season. And well, it would have been more, but for the goalkeeping of Ian Bennett. Bennett saving a penalty from Winningham. Some other tremendous moments of defiance too. And the score could have been a lot more severe. But as it is, Pompey will be happy enough. They've won by four goals to nil.